Have you ever wondered, why wheat is so dominant, in our daily diet routine? How it has developed, over time to produce, a delicious piece of baguette? And where, it was first used by humans? All this and more, is answered, in the upcoming minutes. Wheat is a well-known famous grain. It is present over our breakfast, lunch and dinner tables, either in a direct or indirect way. It is now present in most of the food we consume. We as a humans, have a lot of stories with wheat. It is the core of the bakery industry, Italian pasta and sweet dishes. We consume it every day, as a bread, cakes, biscuits, and even in its raw shape. It is the most grown crop on land area, and is traded the most among all other type of crops. It is an essential part of many nations daily diet. History speaking, this great grain cultivation was started some 10,000 years ago with its origin being traced back to southeast of Turkey. It was called einkorn. This glorious grain started its trip to every kitchen in the world from there. It starts spreading from Turkey to Greece, Cyprus and the Indian subcontinent by 6500 BCE. And from there, to Germany, and Spain, by 5000 BCE. And by 4000 BCE, wheat reached the British Isles, and Scandinavia. Let's go back, to that delicious piece of baguette. Do you remember it? The history of bakery, started by the early Egyptians. They were the developers of the bread, and the usage of the ovens. They developed baking, into one of the first, large-scale food production industries. Nowadays, bakery industry is, present in every country, and its products is consumed by all nations and races. Wheat is not just a single seed as we know. It has a lot of different varieties, that have been developed over the course of years, either by genetics modifications, or by human selection. This is now known as breeding. Modern wheat breeding started in the 20th century. Wheat was subjected to gamma, x-rays, ultraviolet light, and sometimes harsh chemicals. These varieties of wheat were created in the 1960s, and most of them being used in higher populated countries such as China. Breeding goals was to have a wheat that have a higher grain yield, better quality, disease and insects resistance, and better tolerance to different climate conditions. Wheat is not just a source of food and nutrients. It is also a key global commodity, in terms of its tradable value, and its contribution to country's economy. And that is the important part of its data, that we will focus on. In the next part, we will take a look at the production of the wheat at country's level, and how much they export of it. We will also see which continent is the top in wheat production. Now that we have enough information about the grain that changed humans diet orientation, let's see data in action.